Ever wondered what's causing your prostate gland and kidneys to malfunction? Could it be the food you're eating? Today, we're diving into a topic that's vital for all, but particularly for those of us with a few more years under our belts. We're going to explore the link between diet and the health of two essential organs, the prostate gland and the kidneys. Food is more than just fuel. It's a source of nourishment, a tool for healing, and unfortunately, sometimes a trigger for disease. So what if the very meals you relish are the culprits behind your health woes? In this video, we're going to unveil five foods that could be causing harm to your prostate and kidneys. These are foods that you might be consuming daily, unaware of the potential damage they could be inflicting on these vital parts of your body. So, are you ready to discover the foods you should avoid for a healthier prostate and kidneys? Stay tuned. First on our list is red meat. Yes, that juicy steak might be doing more harm than good. We all love a good barbecue or a sizzling steak on our plates, don't we? But have we ever stopped to wonder what this indulgence might be doing to our bodies, specifically our prostate gland and kidneys? Let's delve into the science behind this. Several studies have suggested a link between red meat and an increased risk of prostate cancer. The culprits, compounds called heterocyclic amines or HCAs, which form when meat is cooked at high temperatures. These HCAs can damage the DNA in our cells and potentially lead to cancer. But that's not all. Red meat is also high in saturated fats, which can lead to obesity, a well-known risk factor for prostate cancer. Overconsumption of red meat can also lead to higher levels of insulin, another factor linked to prostate cancer. Now let's turn to the kidneys. Red meat is high in protein, which can be hard for the kidneys to process, especially in large amounts. Over time, this can lead to kidney disease. In fact, a study published in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology found that those who consumed a diet high in red meat had a 60% increased risk of developing kidney disease. And if you're thinking, well, I'll just switch to leaner cuts of meat, hold that thought. Even lean red meat can still be high in sodium, another no-no for the kidneys. Too much salt can increase your blood pressure, putting extra strain on these vital organs. So what's the verdict? Well, like with many things in life, moderation is key. A little red meat now and then is fine, but it's important to balance it out with other sources of protein like fish, chicken or plant-based options. So next time you're tempted by that juicy steak, think about your prostate and kidneys. Next up are dairy products. Surprised? Let's find out why. Dairy products, a staple in many diets, are often seen as a source of essential nutrients like calcium and vitamin D. However, there's a darker side to these creamy delights that is often overlooked. Research suggests that excessive consumption of dairy products can have detrimental effects on the prostate gland and kidneys. But why is this the case? The answer lies in the high levels of animal fat found in many dairy products. These fats can stimulate the production of a hormone called insulin-like growth factor 1 or IGF-1. Elevated levels of IGF-1 have been linked to an increased risk of prostate cancer. Furthermore, the high calcium content in dairy can also contribute to prostate issues by lowering levels of a vitamin D metabolite needed to regulate cell growth and differentiation. Moving on to the kidneys, the high protein content in dairy products can be a problem. Why, you ask? Well, your kidneys are responsible for filtering out waste products from protein metabolism. Over time, a high protein diet can put significant stress on your kidneys, potentially leading to conditions like chronic kidney disease. Adding to this, dairy products are often high in sodium, which can contribute to high blood pressure, a known risk factor for kidney disease. Moreover, the high phosphorus content in dairy can also be harmful. Excess phosphorus can cause damage to your body, including your kidneys, by pulling calcium out of your bones and leading to potential bone health issues. So, does this mean you should completely eliminate dairy from your diet? Not necessarily. It's all about balance and moderation. While it's crucial to be aware of these potential risks, dairy products can still be part of a balanced diet when consumed in moderation. A slice of cheese or a glass of milk now and then won't necessarily harm your health. But remember, it's always wise to choose low-fat or non-fat dairy options whenever possible and to keep an eye on your overall daily intake. Remember, moderation is key when it comes to dairy consumption. Processed foods are another culprit. Let's dive into the details. 
When we talk about processed foods, we're referring to those items that have been transformed from their natural state through various processes. These processes can include smoking, curing, canning, freezing or adding preservatives. The result? Foods that are convenient, long-lasting and often addictive due to their high salt, sugar and fat content. But when it comes to the health of your prostate, gland and kidneys, processed foods can be a real wolf in sheep's clothing. While they might taste good and make meal prep a breeze, they can also contribute to inflammation in the body, which is a known enemy of the prostate gland. Take processed meats, for example. We're talking about items like sausages, hot dogs, bacon and deli meats. These are often high in sodium and nitrates, both of which can lead to high blood pressure. And high blood pressure? It's a risk factor for kidney disease. Then there's the issue of trans fats, which are found in many processed foods, including baked goods, chips and fried foods. The body struggles to break these fats down, which can lead to an increase in LDL or bad cholesterol. This can put extra strain on your kidneys as they work to filter out these harmful substances. And let's not forget about the high sugar content in many processed foods. Excess sugar can lead to obesity and type 2 diabetes, both of which are risk factors for kidney disease. So it seems clear that while processed foods might be easy and delicious, they're not doing any favours for our prostate gland or kidneys. But the good news is, it's never too late to make a change. By replacing processed foods with fresh, whole foods, you can make a big difference in your health. So, consider cutting back on those processed foods for the sake of your health. Alcohol, a common beverage, can also negatively impact your prostate and kidneys. Here's how. Alcohol, a staple in many social settings, can be a bit of a double-edged sword when it comes to our health. While moderate consumption might be acceptable, excessive drinking can become a serious problem, especially for organs such as the prostate and kidneys. First, let's talk about the prostate. This walnut-sized gland plays a crucial role in male reproduction. Alcohol can cause inflammation of this gland, a condition known as prostatitis. This can lead to uncomfortable symptoms like frequent urination and lower back pain. What's more, heavy drinking can also increase the risk of developing prostate cancer. Now onto the kidneys. These bean-shaped organs are responsible for filtering waste products from your blood. When you consume alcohol, it needs to be broken down and eliminated from your body. This job largely falls to your liver, but your kidneys also play a part. Constant overconsumption of alcohol can overwork these organs, leading to conditions like kidney disease or even kidney failure. Alcohol also tends to dehydrate the body, which can put additional strain on the kidneys. Dehydration can lead to kidney stones, a painful condition where hard mineral and salt deposits form in your kidneys. Lastly, alcohol can increase your blood pressure. High blood pressure is a leading cause of kidney disease. Over time, it can damage the blood vessels in the kidneys, reducing their ability to work properly. But don't let this information scare you away from enjoying a glass of wine or a cold beer. The key is moderation. Consider sticking to the recommended limits for alcohol consumption, which is two drinks a day for men. And remember, it's always okay to choose not to drink. So it might be a good idea to limit your alcohol intake. So there you have it. Five foods that could be harming your prostate gland and kidneys. We've journeyed through the pitfalls of red meat, dairy products, processed foods, and even alcohol. Each of these, when consumed excessively, can pose significant threats to your prostate and kidneys, impacting your overall well-being. But remember, it's not about cutting out these foods entirely, it's about balance and moderation. Regular checkups and a balanced diet are your best defense against health complications. Pay attention to your body, listen to its signals and respond with care. Remember, your health is in your hands. Choose your foods wisely and stay healthy.